UT San Antonio. Let's jump into that one. This is the last one. We're out of here. And then we're out. UT San Antonio Roadrunners, 3-9 and nine last year, 2-6 and six in conference. Returning starters, they got six back on offense, six back on defense. Frank Wilson, he was supposed to be the next big thing, right? Like he's, he's the recruiting guy, but look, and he's recruited well here. Yeah. But recruiting has not led to winning. He's 15-21 and 21 in three seasons. The first year was the best year by far. Offense was dead last in total offense. Uh, but quarterback Frank Harris should give them more of a passing threat this year after he missed 2018 with a knee injury. The defense fell off the map after Pete Golding left for Alabama. They were number 96 last year. They were number 5 in the country in total defense in 2017. Uh, defensive line runs 8 deep. Uh, let's see, Jared Carter, Macklin, and Lorenzo Dantzler are the two that you need to know. They're replacing both linebackers in a four-two-five scheme. That is not a good thing. I, I got them going three and nine again. Frank's got to figure out some way to get this thing turned around. They got talent. Exact same record, man. I got them three and nine. I I, I don't see them improving. I don't see them falling backwards. Um, maybe they can improve a game or two. If they improve more than a game, it would shock me. Yeah, but I mean I, that's that's I think that's where we're standing. They've got talent. Like I know they got talent, but man, this schedule like it so they get incarnate word, right? But then at Baylor, Army, at North Texas, at a win at UTEP, I think. Then they got UAB, a win against Rice at home, and then at Texas AM, at Old Dominion. You you gotta go from San Antonio all the way out to Virginia to to face Old Dominion in that offense. You got Southern Miss, Florida Atlantic, and at Louisiana Tech to wrap up. Like, where are the wins coming from? I don't know. Like, everybody else in the conference is getting better. They've got talent. You got to do something with it. So, if Frank has is, is got to improve, I don't think he does this year. I think it's three and nine. I think they might give him one more year after this, but I think that's about it. Who, uh, Who'd you have winning it? I had North Texas winning the division. At seven and one, and then but they beat UAB, who also had seven and one in the conference. I got UAB with a better record, ten and two, but North Texas uh, winning the division, and uh, and I got Florida Atlantic beating North Texas to win conference USA. I got UAB winning the division, UAB winning the conference. I can I can understand that you Bill Clark guy. That's right. All right, we appreciate you guys. Remember, share out the show, uh, leave some comments, tell us what you think. If we're wrong, we're wrong. We've been wrong before. We love you guys. We appreciate the support. We'll see you around next time. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.